So now for setup. I have my small brush, my large brush, I've got a paper towel or two, some clean water, I've got my directions which also have descriptions on how you are going to um, think about each one as you're making them. So you can see here I'm going to start with a wash and then I'm going to go on to gradations. On the gradations I'm going to do three different kinds um, using the three different qualities of color. So I'm going to do a value gradation which is the simplest, a hue gradation using analogous colors, and an intensity gradation going from bright to dull. And with that one, I will use complementary colors. All right, so to start with um, my wash, I want to pick a section that's not going to be right in the middle of things, because we, wherever I paint, I'm not going to be able to paint in that area again until it dries. So I'm going to pick a, you know, a decent size area, not a little tiny area, um, but something that's not right in the middle of things. Yeah. So how about I start off with my wash. I'll just choose this, this nice large area right over here. And I am going to start off by wetting the area and I'm going to be careful not to rub too much. So I'm not doing a lot of this. Uh, there's a coating on watercolor paper. Um, I believe they're usually gelatin based. It's called sizing. And if you rub the brush too much, you start to wear away the sizing on the paper and um, it stops protecting the paper and your paint starts to soak into the paper more and then you will end up um, having more of a drawing paper where when you paint on it it just soaks right in and it is like a permanent stain that's there forever. Okay, So now I have this whole area wet. You can see by the way the light is shining. It's fine if I missed a couple little edges. I'm going to be um, able to fix that when I start adding color onto it. So now I want to pick a nice strong color but one from the color wheel. So I don't want to use yellow because that's the weakest and I don't want to use brown and black. So I can either use this cool red which is more like a magenta. I can use the warm red. I could use either of the greens and I have the purple and then kind of a, a mixing blue like a like a cyan kind of um, and then an orange. So I think for Today's I'm going to use um, the blue. So I'm going to pick up some of this blue and in my lid I'm going to just drop, I'm literally going to pinch and drop off some of that color into there. So obviously now I need to wipe off my hands and I'm going to add a little bit more water into this. Let me zoom out real quick. So I'm adding some water into this. So now you can see when it's over the paper how watery that color is. It's harder to see when it's on the black table. Okay. So I'm going to use this really watered down pigment. I don't want to have like puddles of water here. It's not about to drip into another space, but I'm just going to put a light coating here, being very careful to control the edge. So if this was a painting where I had something that I didn't want to be loose, I would have to control to do that. So by controlling the water, you control the edge. You can see I'm turning my paper just so it's easier. Um, down here I have a, a drip edge kind of forming. I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to use it on this other side. Now can you start to see some of the texture showing up in here? This is a cold press paper which um, has like little bumps and ridges and valleys and little hills and valleys on the paper and you want that if you want to have kind of a natural texture that shows up and the pigment puddles into those areas. So I'm going really gentle on the brush. You can see I'm not bending it like this. It's just very very light. So even now with this bent brush if I was going to use this, it's just really gentle and I can just even it out. And that would be just a, a, an even coated wash. Um, with watercolor, you know, there's always going to be potentially a little bit of variety, but this has enough water on it that it may kind of even out a little bit more as it's drying and these streaks may go away. 